pointed onto the main shaft with the convex end upward. When it moves to the third ring groove, use the spines of two screwdrivers to embrace the adjusting gasket, rotated by one tooth's distance, mashing with inner and outer spline grooves. Push hex key of main shaft upward, make it through the adjusting gasket, pending the next ring groove. Take the sliding bush of main shaft, aim the white groove of spline hole at spring pin hole on the shaft. Mount it onto main shaft. Take an adjusting gasket with the convex side downward. Mount it onto main shaft until it reaches the second ring groove. Rotate it by one tooth distance. Mesh inner and outer spline grooves. Push hex key upward. Make it through the adjusting gasket pending the ring groove. Take the second speed gear compounding of main shaft. Make the side with stop ring upward and mount it onto main shaft. When turn the gear compounding, don't let the spline gasket drop out. Take the third speed gear compounding of main shaft, make the side with stop ring downward and mount it onto main shaft. Take one adjusting gasket, mount it onto main shaft with its convex side upward until it reaches the first ring groove. Use the spines of two screwdrivers to embrace the adjusting gasket. Rotate it by one tooth distance, mashing with inner and outer spline grooves. Push hex key of main shaft upward. Make it through the adjusting gasket. Knock the spring cylinder pin in. Push the hex key so as to embrace the spring cylinder pin. Take the sliding bush of main shaft. Aim the wide groove of spline hole at spring pin hole on the shaft. Mount it onto main shaft. Take the main shaft assembly and put it on the bench. Take reverse gear of main shaft, notch the hub then mount it onto main shaft and mesh with the sliding bush. Take spline gasket of second speed gear and mount it onto main shaft. Take the stop ring 16763, mount it onto the second ring groove of main shaft, count from the rear end. The hatch of ring should be avert the hex key. Assembling ends. Inspect the clearance. Respectively insert two screwdrivers between the gears. Use the clearance gauge to measure the distance between first speed gear and low speed gears interfaces, which should be within 0.13 to 0 0.30 millimeters. That between the second and third speed gears should be within 0.13 to 0.30 mm. Measure the clearance between reverse gear of main shaft and drive gear of auxiliary box. With the small end downward, pull the main shaft straight on the pedestal. Take out drive gear assembly of auxiliary box. Make the side with bearing downward. Mount it onto the spline of main shaft. Then use snap ring plier to mount another snap ring onto the first narrow groove of main shaft. Again, use the clearance gauge to measure the distance between drive gear of auxiliary box and the reverse gear's interfaces, which should be within 0.30 to 0.90 mm. Components. It consists of bearing, shield ring, counter shaft, counter shaft square key, in spring cylinder pin, semi circular key, first speed gear of counter shaft, second speed gear of counter shaft, third speed gear of counter shaft, left PTO gear, right PTO gear, counter shaft transfer gear, shield block, spring cylinder pin, bolt, bearing, shield ring, bearing, stop ring. Tooth remark. Put the drive gear of counter shaft on the bench with the convex side upward. Baste paint on the tooth which is right against the key groove. There are 47 teeth on the bottom PTO gear of left counter shaft. There are abrasion gear on the right counter shaft. If PTO gear needed, there is 45 teeth. Take the counter shaft, lay it flat on the V-shaped set. The V-shaped set can be put flat on the bench. 
Take spring cylinder pin, insert it into the pin hole at the bottom of key groove, knock it to proper position. Take the semicircular key, knock it into the semicircular groove. The utmost deflection of the semicircular key matching key groove. Knock it flat. Square key of counter shaft make one chamfer downward. The end leans against the spring cylinder pin. Knock into the long key groove until it's flat. Pull the counter shaft on the 25 ton pressing machine's fixture with the teeth downward. It can be placed on the bench if without the fixture, with the key groove outward. Take the first speed gear of counter shaft with its convex side upward. Mount it onto counter shaft until it reaches the obtrusion of corresponding shaft. Make initial location. Take the second speed gear of counter shaft with its convex side downward. Aim it at key groove. Mount it onto the counter shaft. Press to make the two gears fit in the proper position. Take the third speed gear of counter shaft with its convex side upward. Aim it at key groove. Mount it onto the counter shaft. Press down to fit it into the proper position. Take the PTO gear of left counter shaft with the wrong curved side downward. Aim it at the key groove. Mount it onto counter shaft. Press down to fit it into proper position. Take the drive gear of counter shaft with its convex side downward. Aim it at key groove. Mount it onto the counter shaft. Press down to fit it into proper position. Assembling ends. It consists of input shaft, guide sleeve of main shaft, first speed gear, stop ring, separate shim for gears, bearing, nut of input shaft, bearing, snap ring. Pull the gear of input shaft on the bench with the convex side downward. Paint a mark on random two adjacent teeth and paint the 180 degree opposite two teeth either. Take the stop ring, install it into the snap ring grooved gear of the input shaft. Put input shaft vertically standing on the bench with a small end downward. Install the guide sleeve of main shaft into hole of input shaft. When outside the workshop, take a shaft with its bigger end downward. Put it vertically on sliding bush of 3 and 4 speed gears. Aiming at the key groove, mount the gear onto the input shaft, making sure that the side with stop ring is upward. Pull the separating shim on the interface of inner ring of the bearing. Install the stop ring into the inner groove of bearing snap ring. Mount it onto the input shaft, making sure that the side with stop ring is upward. Press down or knock slightly the input bearing until it comes to the proper position. Take out bit of input shaft, base the sealing mucus onto the thread of the nut. Aim the section of the nut at the bearing. Screw down to input shaft. The input shaft nut is left helical. Screw moment for the nut is 338 to 406 newton meters. Aiming at the two grooves of input shaft thread, press the rivets. Don't damage the surface of oil sealing on the input shaft. Installation ends.